Hi, my name is Gregor McLennan and I am the program director at Digital Democracy. What does Digital Democracy do? Uh, digital Democracy looks to empower marginalized communities uh, with technologies that they can use to take more agency over their lives. Could you give us an example of your work? The project I'm working on right now is uh, we're working with communities in the remote Amazon rainforest who are being contaminated and poisoned by oil spills from oil drilling that's happening uh, close to their villages. And we are empowering them with technology and training that enables them to document those oil spills and to call the government and the company uh, accountable for the damage that they're causing. What were the biggest challenges, I mean, to approach these people in the jungle in rural, rural areas to get used or to use technology? Um, well, it's, uh, there are they, they are communities that I first visited back in 2005. And when I first went there, they came asking for technology because they wanted to be able to prove that they were suffering from this contamination. And when they had gone to the cities to explain it, people weren't listening to them and they weren't believing them. So they were the ones that asked for the technology because they wanted a way of showing the world how they were being affected by this oil project. Um, so uh, we it was have, easy. the challenge in the work has been designing a program that they can feel ownership of, that they feel is their project, that um, they're working for their communities, they're not working for an external organization. Um, so how did you manage this? Um, by following, uh, working according to the aims and the interests of the community. They're, they are the um, project leaders uh, and they're the deciders. And our work has been to design a project that fulfills their needs. Uh, and what we're working on now with Digital Democracy is looking at the technical challenges that they're facing in getting this information out to the outside world. Uh, what other projects are you working on besides the Amazon thing? Um, I'm also working with communities in southern Guyana, the Wapashana people. They live also in the Amazon rainforest and the challenge that they are facing is they live in a vast territory several hundred kilometers across and they have gold mining projects and forestry projects which are contaminating their watersheds and their rivers and often these are taking place in very remote locations that they only visit maybe once or twice a year so they often these projects can advance a long way before they find out that they're happening and they're able to put a stop to them so our work is looking at how we can use satellite imaging and satellite images so we can identify changes in forest cover uh, uh, in, as it happens without having to wait until someone visits the area. And we're trying to design that as something, a tool that the local people can use themselves and be able to pick up very early on whether a mining project has started in their land. Who is funding all this? Um, well, most of our work is being supported by the Knight Foundation, um, which is a foundation that supports um, new media and technology initiatives. How is your work appreciated by the big companies? Um, well, this is a very early stages. I've been working there for six months. If we do the work well, hopefully it will not be appreciated at all.